Hello everyone, welcome back to our JavaScript tutorials for beginners. In this session, we are going to discuss about event bubbling and event capturing. So in previous session, we discussed about add event listener and remove event listener. Right? In this add event listener, the third parameter is going to be so going to discuss about event bubbling and event capturing. So can you see the syntax of this here? This is add event listener method. And the first parameter is going to be the event, name of the event, and it is going to be action is nothing but a function. And this is the third parameter is nothing but use capture, it's a Boolean value that is either true or false. Based on this value true or false, the event bubbling and event capturing is going to be worked. What exactly event capturing? I want to know what exactly bubbling, what exactly capturing. This is what we are going to check it now. If you can execute this, I created a small div. Can you see here? small div div id this is my this is parent div inside the div i have paragraph what is this is para and inside who is the pa who is the parent of this paragraph tag so block nothing but the div block now if you can execute this can you see i i did a little bit design with css this is what exactly this is parent div and this is child div what exactly the event bubbling what exactly the event capturing is here for example so you added an event to this div as well as you added an event to this also same click event so i added a click event to this div element as well as i added the click event to this chain element when i am clicking on this do which event is going to be handled first inner element event or outer element event or who is the outer element here div is the outer element inside the div we have paragraph tag now if you can check your code also can you see who is the in outer element div is the outer element who is the inner element paragraph tag is the inner element when I am clicking on this div, which event is going to be fired first? That is inner element, that is our outer element. That is nothing but event bubbling and event capturing. See, if you want to fire inner element first, inner element event first, that is nothing but inner means event, nothing but that is bubbling. Bubble means always water bubbles will come from inside the water, right? So remember carefully, bubbling means First, innermost element is going to be handled. Innermost element, innermost event is going to be handled first. And capturing in the sense, outermost element event is going to be handled first. If you can give false, what is the meaning of false? False means capturing and true means bubbling. That's what exactly default value. If you are not providing any parameter here, in the earlier example, we didn't provide any parameter. Can you check? In this, we didn't cross any parameter as a third segment. Then what is it is going to be false, right? Now, in this situation, let us discuss that very clearly. What exactly the event bubbling and event capturing? Now, I am going to add click events to the both elements. Let us see which event is going to be fired first. If innermost event is called first, that is event bubbling. If outermost event is handled first, that is called event capturing. So that is what exactly. Now we are going to add for both elements, I am going to add click event. Let us see how we can add by using. So add event is that document dot get element by ID. What is the ID we have? Let us use block now dot add event listener what is the event i'm adding just i'm adding click event this is going to be uh, let us take a take a function directly so this is a function and here it is going to be true i'm passing the parameter also true so now you can check it. So just write alert message. So we will understand simply which event is going to be handled first. That's what the question here, right? Now you can just take high message here. Right. Now, or else you can take high, high, you can take something like this so that without having any confusion. So we will easily understand which event is going to be fired now. Now I'm adding the same click event to the paragraph. What is the idea of P-A-R-A -A para? So high P-A-R-A, such a manner I'm writing, guys, right? So now you you no need to take anything here. Just you can remove it. I'm not taking anything. So if you're not passing anything, what is the default value? Default value is going to be false. Right? Let us check it now. I'm going to click on this do. On do, you are clicking a high do. Now I'm clicking on the paragraph tag. Can you see? If you can click on the paragraph tag, which event is going to handle first? Para is handling first. After that, if you can close this, can you see? Div is going to be handled also. Which event is handling first? So uh, if I click on div, div event will be called automatically. Now when I am clicking on the paragraph tag, first the paragraph tag event is going to be handled, right? Handle of the div event is also going to be fired, guys. Both events are firing. 
if you can click on paragraph tag if you click only on this div surface then div is called now i'm clicking on the paragraph tag first paragraph tag event is going to be called after that the div event is going to be fired yes they are calling fine now can you see here i'm passing this third parameter as true this third parameter is going to be true here now let us refresh it now i'm going to click on this paragraph tag can you see i'm clicking on the paragraph tag which one is calling first right this is calling first guys now if you can post then paragraph tag is calling first now if you want to make this same parameter call here then if you can see which one is going to be called first innermost element is going to be called first now you can see true means even the bubbling now you can see this is going to be called first then if you can see this is going to be handled second so which one you want to call first for that you have to pass true parameter here if you are passing uh, if you by default if you are not passing anything it is going to be false here this is going to be false you didn't pass anything now nah? it's going to be false so if you uh, if you want to handle so in the both events we are having both elements having less than click event which element you want to handle first right which element inner element event first you want to handle or outer element event you want to handle first so which element you want to handle first for that you have to pass two parameter that is nothing but event bubbling innermost element is handled first event bubbling if it is outermost event then that is called event capturing so event capturing in the sense false event bubbling in the sense true true means innermost element event is going to be called first it is a false means outermost element is going to be that if you are not passing anything here what is the value of it if you are not passing anything that is going to be false if you are not, even though you, need, you can remove it the value of it, the value is going to be false guys just refresh it and check it once one more time so which where is two parameter parameter two parameter two is for paragraph tag so paragraph tag should be called first can you see para is calling first and after the div is calling first now i am removing this true i am going to add here now you can check it which one is going to be called first now right now you can see default by default div, even though if i click on paragraph tag this is i am clicking on paragraph tag can you see div is fired now of the paragraph tag is going to be fine this is exactly the event bubbling and event capturing so when an element inside an element both elements are having click event which element which event is going to be handled first innermost element or outermost element so this is what exactly the event bubbling and event capturing if you want to handle innermost element first pass the parameter use capture parameter is true for it then innermost element is event is going to be handled first then outermost element is going to be handle later guys this is exactly the event bubbling and event capturing right if you have any doubts please comment under the video section thank you guys